Good day, everyone. Uh, welcome <laughs> to today's stream. We are going to be playing more of Eastward. Hopefully, everything is working. Let's see. Uh, yeah, sorry, I'm a little disheveled because I <laughs> I found another mute Pokemon um, Oreo, <laughs> so I was like rushing to get that listed ASAP. But I got my tea right here. Hopefully, you all have your drink. Actually, it's not tea because, uh, as I was saying. Um, kind of ran out of time <laughs> so it's just regular water again but hello hi G the man how are you doing and we just got our uh, game playing back there I just want to be able to check the sound device sound device sound input to make sure it sounds good might be a little loud so let me reduce that okay hopefully that sounds okay thank you so much for joining hopefully you're having a good day today let's go ahead and pour some of this pretend tea <laughs> just water today again but uh here you go the lovely sounds of water being poured <laughs> it actually holds more water than i thought it would so there we go sound advice <laughs> audio is good by the way okay awesome thanks g the man i think you're the only one here right now Alrighty, and glad to hear you're doing well. Hopefully the sound is good. It looks like it's okay. Oh, that's cute. Yeah, it's really sweet. I saw this at Target and I had to get it. It's basically this little teacup with Belle on it and then be our guest on the back. Cute little flower top. And then it nestles inside of the cup, which looks like Belle's ball gown, which I love. <laughs> Fizzy, oh good, Fizzy's here too, just lurking. Thank you so much. Mmm, I love water. <laughs> I'm so random. I gotta get my uh, Joy-Con corrected because these little, I have these cute little paw print um, grips on there, but this is what happens. They turn around for some reason, so I always want to switch them because I'm weird like that. <laughs> I'm like, I want the paw prints facing up. <laughs> But these are my really cool, cute um, Zelda Joy-Con, which I'm so excited about. Thanks to John for getting these for me because um, they weren't available here. So they these are all the way from the UK. <laughs> Cat Evie, hello. Chat not responding on tablet. Oh no. Using my phone while tablet is restarting. <laughs> Belle gets a Belle teacup. Exactly. I couldn't resist. I saw this. I even got this like a while ago too. So... It's on brand. <laughs> I don't know. I love Belle. Beauty and the Beast is probably my favorite cartoon, like, animated movie. Alrighty. Mm, love that water. <laughs> Back on tablet. Okay. Well, last time we were in the middle of... Actually, I don't remember why we were going underground. I think we were trying to find... I, I don't know, because we were with... We were with our, the girl. Oh my gosh. I can't remember the exact details. I just know that we were underground and there was those snake things. And the principal and the mayor were in on being angry with us. And yeah, it wasn't great. Underground tunnel. Because hopefully this is the last auto save and we don't have to redo stuff. Let's see what we got here. Uh, I guess we'll just go for the last auto save which looks to be this one with one heart that sounds about right because <laughs> we actually died yeah i don't think we want to do any of these other ones we're gonna go with this one hopefully it's not too much backtracking <laughs> let's a go time to game with Belling. oh yeah i gotta s switch it so you guys can see better there we go now you can see the game <laughs> All right, so got to remember the buttons. So we switch with that and I think we attack like this. Okay, looks like we are good to go. If this is where the snakes, okay, this is exactly where we left off. Perfect. Oh yeah, remember this? Remember the guy's face? How he looks like an angry dude? Oh my goodness, Hyrule. Thank you so much for the resub. Wow, 18 months now. Ready for more 16-bit action? Hooray! Me too! Thank you so very much! This is so kind of you! 
Thank you. And I think today, is today the last day of September or is it tomorrow? It's coming up. I don't know. Let me actually look at my calendar. I should know this. <laughs> yes, today's the last day of September. So that's exciting and also scary that it went so fast. But yeah, uh, that face, that face of John down there, hilarious. I wish I could point it out, but I can't really. <laughs> <laughs> but his mouth, he just looks like some kind of, like a Yeti or Sasquatch or something. <laughs> Fizzy was finishing up a level in SA2. What is SA? Uh, I should, I probably should know this, but I can't remember. All right, let's see if we can uh, pause this thing. Okay, that's... Okay. Oh gosh. No! I died! <laughs> Oh my gosh. Oh, you know what? I should have been John. I don't know what I was thinking. Let's continue. <laughs> Spicy! Good afternoon, Belle. Thank you. Good afternoon to you as well. Luckily, uh, we are right here, so not too big of a deal that we just died. <laughs> Unfortunately, we still have the one heart. Oh, you know what? We should actually get in our backpack right here. Although, see, I'm doing this and nothing's happening, so... Oh, there it is. It was highlighted. <laughs> I was looking for a highlight. Should we eat the hot dog or the energy drink? <clears throat> I'm thinking... I'm thinking we should just top off. Use. Because <laughs> <clears throat> we keep dying, so obviously we need some help. Alright. Let's do this again. <laughs> for like the fourth time. Alright. Oh no, 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 oh no, Joy-Con drift. It was like paused. Okay, you know what? We're just going. <laughs> We're taking damage. <clears throat> I apparently can't handle snakes. And apparently my throat is extremely dry. So, <laughs> hot dog. No, apparently we needed more than a hot dog. <laughs> John the Sasquatch. Uh, break out my Halloween scrubs. Ooh, need to switch to my Halloween cat shirt collection. That's awesome. That sounds amazing. But nerd said sounds le sound levels seem good. That's great because I had to adjust it. It was a little loud. Uh, hopefully it's good. Oh, Hyrule Hermit! Thank you so much for the 100 bits. Can't stay for much of the stream because I'm starting a conference on anesthesia and surgery and kitties. But wanted to say I'm loving these extra streams. Good luck today. Oh, thank you so much. I'm glad you are liking the extra streams. I wasn't sure if it was going well. So that encouragement really does mean a lot. Thank you so much. Thank you for the bits. That was very kind of you. Thank you. Thank you. And I hope your anesthesia and surgery conference goes well. <laughs> so thank you very much. Squinty, can't stay for long since I have class in a few, but hope everyone has fun and has a great day. Thank you for stopping by. It's so sweet that you all come by. That is so nice and it really does mean the world to me. So thank you very, very much. Sometimes I get self-conscious about it, so I appreciate it. All right, let's see. I guess we'll start running through here. We'll... We'll start with uh, the daughter. Okay, there we go. Ah, I thought I was gonna get caught. Oh no, more snakes! Oh boy, we're in trouble. Oh gosh, especially because the Joy-Con. Oh no, we—I don't. We are in trouble. We are seriously in trouble. <laughs> oh gosh, we need a better system. We need a much better. <laughs> Oh, well, this is going to be fun. This is going to be quite a stream. Oh, spicy or a joy to watch. I really hope so, especially today with my apparent terrible um, snake handling. <laughs> Rusty, hello. How are you doing? Spicy, that was so sweet. I feel, I feel bad that I'm not performing correctly now. <laughs> I'm doing so badly against these snakes. I don't understand. I think she can stand here safely, but then I gotta do this, but the problem is the Joy-Con, I'm having issues, which is such a bummer. Oh, hi, Roll! Gifted a sub to G the man. Wow, you've given 79 gift subs. That is so, so sweet. Oh my goodness. Also, look at the BFF. We are hanging on by 15 HP. That's crazy. But thank you so much for gifting that sub to G the man. That is so nice. Aw. <laughs> this community is so sweet. I love seeing all the friendships in here. 
Snakes. It's always snakes. <laughs> what is this, Indiana Jones? I know, apparently so. <laughs> 79 is a weird number. <laughs> I guess it's 10 above 69. Is that what makes it weird? I don't know. I wonder why 79 is a weird number. I also wonder... See, I did not even hit that. I was down here and I hit it twice. It's gonna be that kind of day, I guess. Well then. Hyrule, oh my gosh, Hyrule gifted us sub to Squinty. Yeah, <laughs> just to make it the 80, is that why? Oh my gosh, okay, I like even numbers. <laughs> Thank you so much. And also that makes Squinty our new BFF. <laughs> Congrats all around and thank you so much, Hyrule. Sorry, I didn't mean to point out 79. I just thought that was really nice. But now 80. So there you go. Nice round number. Round numbers can be fun, that's for sure. Sometimes I like a little chaos and I, I pick a non-round number, but I totally understand the round number love. So <laughs> Amy gets a... Mm, I know, right? Is it going to be one of these? I might need to switch to the Pro Controller if we're going to have this kind of issue. I didn't think I'd have to be doing any... Uh, Precision. All right, what's the best plan here? Let's go with, let's do a major blow. Oh my gosh. Okay, All right. I'm just, oh my gosh, no. I might have to call Derek in. Okay, let's try this again. Oh my, <laughs> he bit right at the crotch it looked like. Also, I need to heal. I do need to heal. <laughs> Derek, if you're watching, and you would like to prove your skills with platforming and battling. <laughs> Come and take the challenge. Because <laughs> I bet you could do this first try. <laughs> I don't even know if Derek is watching, unfortunately, because of Kai. But I could really use some help. They spread out so quickly. <laughs> Thanks, Derek. Oh my gosh. All right. Let's try this again. But this time, I won't forget to actually... Uh, have some health so that even if we do take some bites <laughs> uh we'll be all right how long does this last let's see because it takes up our energy too not that long honestly and can i spam it not very well not enough energy yeah okay that's not gonna work very well plus now she's at zero and we have to slowly get back up there uh Dad, mom needs help. Yeah, seriously. Oh, the bombs! Rusty, you are a genius. I forgot about the bombs. Okay, that's a great idea. Let's see how long the bombs go. Get in there. All right, that took him out for a minute. Go. Go, go, go. Okay, go, go, go. Okay, we got one. But now we have to do it again. <laughs> so that she can get through. Oh my gosh, that was such a good move. But we don't have that many. Oh no, I didn't... This is gonna be tricky because of the camera angle. Maybe if I get her way down here, that might help. Oh my gosh, I don't like this. All right, do the bomb and then throw it this way. Switch over to her. Go, use your, go, go, go. Oh my gosh, we did it. Rusty is the king of the day. <laughs> oh my gosh. Rusty, thank you. All right, I'm gonna try doing this again. At least we didn't fail on this last time. <laughs> oh my goodness, what a great idea. If anyone's having trouble there, that's a very good strategy. The only problem is now we only have eight left, which hopefully can get us through here and we don't have to deal with these snakearoos anymore. Bombs are useful. I know, I totally forgot about the bombs, which is so weird because they're so useful. All right, get out of here. Oh no, there's more. Okay, at least we made it, but I don't know if we can do it again with her. I think they're gonna get her. Um, all right, let's see how far we can go. And then she'll have to use her magic with the rest. Like this. Yes, oh my gosh, we made it. Wait, what happened? How did he get hurt? Okay. At least we're past that. Please, no more snakes. That's all I ask. 
Oh no, what happened? I lost, I lost signal. Oh no, I didn't. Okay. Phew. Oh, that scared me. John! Oh, I'm feeling the same way Sam is right now. I'm like, no more freaking snakes in hallways, please. How is this game, by the way? Soulcaster wants to know. It's been fun, except for that one section that I was having a lot of trouble with, unfortunately. Also, can you all hear the game? I just want to make sure. It's kind of quiet on my end, so I just want to make sure you can all hear it. Brian said, phew. Yeah, seriously, phew is right. Oh, DGC said you can do it. Oh, that's so kind. Thank you. Sammy's sprite is so cute. Oh, I totally agree. I I love the art style here. This is my jam. This kind of game, I love it. Where it's like story, adventure, pixel art. That is just my cup of tea. What would make it even better is if it was really cozy and like sweet <laughs> and a feel good story, which we don't know yet, but so far it's been very good. Uh, I think we'll go, we probably can't go into that stuff. So let's leave a bomb here. And I like John too. John's a, a nice Papa Bear kind of dude, which is really nice. Um, now we'll try. Let's see. Can we get over? Can we read anything? We can't sidle over. We can't jump. I don't know. Maybe a bomb? I guess we can try throwing a bomb down there and see what happens. Oh, okay. There's something. It fills up the water. Okay. Ooh. Clever. So let's try and get the bomb on that marking. We don't want it to go in the water, though. Oh, I don't know if that'll make it. Oh, it did. Okay. And we got our little uh, noise. Our success noise. Let's go for that one. Come on. Yes. I'm glad it doesn't have to be pixel perfect. <clears throat> Yay, more bombs. I don't know why my throat is so dry today. Maybe because it's actually getting cool for once, which is very nice. I've been enjoying that. We've been going on a lot more walks, which I do love. Why does this feel like I can do something with it? It feels like there was should be a secret there. Oh, another warning. Oh, we can't. Um, this is a non-combat area because he doesn't have his pan. So the success music reminds me of Zelda. I know. That's the other thing I really like about this. It's got a Zelda flair. I love Zelda games. I haven't played very many um, top-down Zelda games like the 2D ones. So playing this actually makes me think that maybe I would enjoy those. I've played um, Minish Cap and I loved that one. I did try. Oh, there's I love that. I did try, um, what was the other one I tried? Link to the Past, but I didn't really like it because it was so harsh with if I died, I had to go all the way to the entrance of the dungeon and I really struggled with that. I didn't like that at all. So I didn't make it very far. I was in like the first dungeon. I got all the way to the boss. I got him down pretty far, but then I just died and I went back to the beginning and it was so aggravating. Cool weather is okay by me. Glad summer's coming to an end. Yeah, I'm, I'm in that camp too. Autumn is my favorite season. Minish Cap and Oracle games are really good. Oh, I should try the Oracle games. Walks are so great. I'll do those a few times a week. Yeah, I, I try to do one every single day. I love it. I don't think there's anything down there. Let me just make... Uh, Wait, that's still the right button. There it is. I like to check the map just to make sure I didn't miss any rooms. Because that one time, last time that we missed a room... Ooh, the mayor's estate. Why does he have a underground passage? Ooh. This is very intriguing. <gasps> Ooh, a secret passage. Oh, okay. It moved back. Uh, that closes it. And there's nothing else in here, so let's open it again. I like the little scuff marks on the ground. Nice detail. Oh, it's stuck. I get it. Okay, we got to pull it the rest of the way. I'm so scared we're going to get caught, though. 
<gasps> hey, this is the mayor's house. John, we made it back. Yep, we sure did. I think the mayor like exiled us or something. I know he was talking about it and there was some thugs. Maybe that's what it was. Love the backgrounds for this game. So detailed. Yes, me too. I'd highly recommend playing A Link to the Past on the SNES app. The rewind function and suspend feature are very helpful. Oh my gosh, I didn't even think about that. That's perfect. Are you winning, Belle? <laughs> Thanks, Derek. I actually needed your help earlier. Were you here for that? I was like struggling so hard with some snakes. And I was like, um, <laughs> Derek. I actually like sent out a challenge to you that I thought you could do it, but eventually I did it. By the way, look at this. He has some plants growing in here. Let's inspect this. Another secret passage. This dude is full of secrets. We are going to get in some trouble. Whoa, this must be where the mayor keeps all his dirty secrets. Uh, and John's just like, well, let's go on in. Uh... Uh oh, John, John, that's not good. I was going to go up the stairs too. Hmm. John, John, I can't get it open. Oh no, we're separated. Oh no, Sam's alone in there. What if he, what if he finds her? Oh, what's this? Looks like it's missing something. All right, let's go find the thing. Oh my goodness. Oh, <laughs> Derek says, no, I'm sorry. No worries. It's okay. Cause I got it done eventually after dying a few times. Uh, the 2d Zelda games are the best. I honestly prefer 2d Zelda games over the 3d ones, even though I love the 3d ones. Oh, wow. I love Minish Cap. That was one of my favorites, but I love my 3d. They're so good. I wanted to try another, um, thing recipes. Is this, will the sand drew peel us? I can't remember. We might need to just make up a recipe. Oops, I didn't mean to press that. Maybe if we just throw some stuff together, it'll be good. So let's try an egg with some mushrooms and onion. That sounds pretty good, actually. Let's, let's cook this up. Oh, right, it's like a, this thing. Okay, I got two tomatoes. I always want to dance for this part. It's, just, it's a very um, Breath of the Wild situation going on. Also, how's the sound going now that we had that nice loud section? I think we're good. I just, I am always so concerned about that part. <laughs> Ooh, look at that. We got an increase in hearts, too. <gasps> Veggie egg stir fry. The smorgasbord. That was cool. That was a good idea. That's perfect. And now our backpack's full. So, no more cooking. Just rolled credits for Eastward. Such a great game. Oh, wow. Minish. By the way, the Minish Cap was the very first Zelda game I beat on my own. Oh, that's so cool. Aw, Derek. That's because you're awesome. You're so sweet. It took us so much effort to figure out a way to save our memories. But what if those memories you save aren't the real you? <laughs> save your memories? Yeah. I love these existential fridges. <laughs> They're always trying to make you question everything. What was in here again? Uh, we got energy drink, which we don't need because we just cooked up some fresh food. Ammo pack. Uh, I don't even think we have ammo yet. And a bomb pack, which... How many bombs do we have? Is that the six over there? Where does that tell us how much we have? Uh, we have seven, because that little number down there is seven. Uh, I think we're okay for now. We're gonna, we're gonna go with this. Plus, we just saved, so if it's really bad, we can always come back here. Oh, Derek and Amy are both awesome. Derek is very awesome. I agree wholeheartedly. Oh. Here we go. What is this? What is the mayor doing? <gasps> oh, I don't like that. I don't like that animal. That is scary. Oh my. I don't know if I can... Let's go, let's go, let's go. Yes, got them all. Oh gosh. 
boss fight already? Oh no. Let's just keep these going. The music. Let me know if the music gets too loud for anybody. Okay, we got the steam. <gasps> okay, so... I Wait, I... Oh, I, I bet we have to hit this guy when he's down. Okay. Go, go, go. No! Ah! Enough with the Joy-Con pausing. Oh! I wish we could run faster! Okay. Okay. Joy-Con, don't let me down. Please don't let me down! <laughs> I need you to work! <laughs> or I need to get my pro controller. Okay, there we go. Smash it. Smash it with a hammer! Oh no. Okay, go. Oh no, I... I might have to get the joy the pro controller. Oh my gosh. No! He's faster than me! I'm gonna have to use more healing items. I gotta I gotta definitely keep an eye on that. Uh oh, here he comes. Oh, so close, so close. Oh no, throwing out these little babies. Okay. I think I'm doing a better job avoiding him though. It's just hard to get all these buttons turned on. Oh, what's that? An onion! Thanks for uh, leaving that here. Okay, there we go. Oh. Ah, oh, man, he landed right on me. Oh, jeez. Whew, that was a close call. These are stressful. Boss fights always stress me out, though, so there's nothing unusual there. All these little crabs. Oh no, I thought I had them. I should probably heal up. Let's go ahead and do that. <laughs> I don't want to um die. Uh oh, this gives you extra beyond. That sounds pretty good. I think I'm gonna do that for this boss fight. And immediately get hit. Good start, good start. This is probably not even like a major boss. It's probably like a mid boss or a small boss. Oh, let's go get him. Come on. Oh, how many hits does this guy take? That reminds me of the, the lollipop thing. Whoa, not that way. <laughs> Remember the, uh, the owl who was like, how many licks does it take to get to the bottom of the Tootsie Roll Pop? Oh no. We got hurt. Ah, Joy-Con, no! Don't hold the... Don't hold the hit. Oh my gosh, this is really not going well! <gasps> hey, we missed him! That went well! Alright. All these crabs. Oh gosh! <laughs> well, there goes the extra hearts. Oh, okay. Got him. Come on. Let this be the end. Yes! Hallelujah! This bot theme is- this boss theme is a bop. Wow, can't talk. <laughs> They're even more stressful and harder difficulties. Hug the edges. Yes, yeah, spicy. That was the key. I didn't even realize. And I was too stressed to look at chat until the end. But hugging the edges helped because we did avoid it somehow. Ooh, a scepter looking thing. <gasps> Let's see if this does the trick. What is the mayor doing with all this craziness? Let's go ahead and save so I don't have to do that boss again. Save a roo, save a roo. All right, and let's cook up another one of those meals because that was fantastic. If I go under recipe, <laughs> let's see if I can just quick make it. Uh, it doesn't. Okay, it just tells you what you need. Okay. Oops. Uh, that's not the right button. There we go. Let's do that same... Oh, what is happening? These Joy-Con. I just got them too. What happened? Is it too far away? It shouldn't be. It's right there. Alright, let's go with this and start a cooking. 
Oh my gosh, the delay. It's almost very debilitatingly playing this delay. <gasps> oh, <gasps> I got three in a row, big win. I don't know what that means, but we got three great looking things in a row. Let's see, one, a two, a three. <laughs> Owl, he said it's about, yeah. Okay, so some people remember. Thank you, nice, awesome. Oh, you're all so supportive, I love this. Ooh, we got extra bonus because of that, I think. That must have been it because it, I saw it tick up some. Like plus eight, plus four. That's a very potent meal, I like this. Bring on all the eggs and onions and mushrooms that you want. <laughs> That is a great recipe. I am very happy to see all those hearts down there. That is um, very, very happy. <laughs> it makes me feel more cushy. Okay, let's see what happens now. Looks like maybe an elevator. It's got it down. Oh, arrow pointing over. Hmm. Uh-oh. To think a place like this existed. It's Jasper. Oh, okay. Whew. It's Jasper. It's the other guy that was in the jail. John! Okay, I remember now. that Actually seeing Jasper remembered. I made me remember. We got thrown in like a jail prison type thing. And there was a poster that this guy, Jasper, really liked. And behind the poster, there was a hole. And we escaped through the hole to that dungeon. Okay, now I remember. What did you just do? There was a huge noise. Uh-oh, Jasper's looking freaked out. Oh no. Tisk tisk tisk. Where, oh where did these little mice go? Oh, did you see that John stood up to protect everyone? Ho ho ho, there you are, my little mice. Why the grim faces? The show is just about to begin. Uh-oh. Yes, aren't you curious? Hmm, what kind of show could it be? We're not interested in any kind of show. Let us go. Oh, I'll let you go. Yes, I'll let all of you little mice go. Tell me, have you ever heard of... Uh, it's maybe Karen... Either Karen, Charon, Karen... I don't know. Ch Charon, you're not talking about that Charon, are you? I see you're familiar with him then. Impressive. I should have expected no less from Potcroc Isle's one-man show. Jasper knows his stuff. He's an amazing performer. What can I say? I'm Potrock's only performer. <laughs> when entertainment's what you covet, call Jasper the one-man show. You're gonna love it. <laughs> Enough! All of you, I've got three seats on Charon with your names on them. Yes, all of you are going to go on a little trip. This is very concerning. Uh-oh. Isn't that the sheriff, guy sheriff dude? <gasps> Only on this trip, no one ever returns. Oh. Well, we already knew he was corrupt, but now we know extra corrupt. yikes a -roo. Oh no, who is this? It's kind of like Dampy. Wretched ones. Hmm. Why must you prey on the misfortunes of others? Eyes wide and gawking through keyhole coffer. Hmm. I wonder where that is. Is that where we're going? I don't think so. Oh, yeah. Looks like we are. He disappeared, though. Look at all those door-looking things. Woe to ye, souls depraved. Oh my gosh. Oh look, there's that guy who was always lying. What is this? Abandon all hope of air coming back. For I have come to take you to the world above. All that awaits you now is darkness, hellfire, and blistering cold. No longer will your feet tr uh, tread on sanctuary's land. Nay, beneath your steps shall lie naught but poison and the malevolent grip of an endless, unceasing miasma. This is the thing he practiced. Do you remember that? Mr. Mayor. 
I beg of you to dispel your anger. My time in that squalid cell has opened my eyes to the light. I am washed clean, born anew, and free from sin. This is not the part, port from which we are to embark. Nay, in your heart, you can feel our virtue. Quiet, you toilsome scoundrels! <gasps> A train? You hear that? Char uh, Charon's rage builds. No longer shall he accept your lies. Only the most degenerate of souls are allowed through his throat. The time for words has come and gone. Only Charon can decide your fate. I think that was a train. Uh-oh. Oh, no! Was there an issue with part two on the streams? I'm slightly surprised it's not on YouTube yet. Yeah, I haven't been able to get part two on YouTube yet. I'm so sorry. This week has been extremely behind just because Derek is very busy. I'm very busy adding in the extra streams. And then Kai has had a lot of clinginess and um, sleeping issues. So I was exhausted and I had to go to bed a couple days in a row early. So it isn't up yet on YouTube, but I will get it up. Hopefully this weekend, today, tomorrow, I don't know. I'm hoping that it, to get it up ASAP. I'm very sorry about that though. <laughs> I'm gonna get it as soon as I can. And the verdict, guilty. Charon's mighty gavel falls. Swift and sure shall his punishment reign. It's kind of like is that the old, like, security devices where if you had anything metal on you, they would go off? I wonder. It's going to go off for John if that's the case. Yeah, okay. Because he has that, you know, metal frying pan. Dreadful, contemptible. Even after I gave you a chance. A chance to atone for your sins. No, it's too late for you. You no longer belong to the world on the other side of the gate. All right, let's see about Sam, though, because she might not have any metal on her. Glad you're, that you're feeling better now. Thank you so much. <laughs> oh, no, it went off for her, too. It could just be programmed to go off for them, like... Oh, <gasps> wait a second. Ooh. Mr. Mayor, Charon's throat, it's... It's broken. Unforgivable! Even the most... Uh, what the... Exercrabble? <laughs> Exercrabble? I don't know what that word is. Of criminals feel some sort of shame for their foul deeds, but not you. No, charging into the forbidden land, spreading those, uh, breaking out of jail, refusing to repent for, and now, that, I wasn't doing that, that's going like on its own. And now, to wage war on Charon's throat itself. Be gone! I banish you from this land for all of eternity. He is quite the theatrics kind of person. There goes that train thing again. All right, what is this? Ooh, the car opened up. Go, Charon is waiting for you. What is up with the mayor? I know, I don't, he is messed up. May your last steps on this earth be pot crocs, Isle's finest act of mercy. Uh, he is, um, he's got some issues, to say it lightly. But at least we're on this train. Maybe it'll actually be better wherever we're going. I have no idea, like, how much the, uh, the mayor knows. Sorry, I'm pouring some water. <laughs> this is it. We're finished. Welcome aboard the train. This train is bound for White Whale Bay. Please watch your step while the train is in motion. White! Whale! Bay! The shining pearl of the coast! The largest port in the east! With sails unfurled, the ships crowd her shores, their proud masts scraping the sky. With mighty blasts, the whale's watery roars join the songs of sailors spry. Outside the wind howls, the skies grow dark, and the towering white caps soar. Ye, but in White Whale Bay, the water lies still, untouched as a virgin's drawers. <laughs> what? What is this? Is that a song or something? But then, we spoiled her. The moldering sails of the ships like shrouds exhumed from the earth. 
the ghosts of the whales now patrolling its waters like monstrous centuries, cursed forevermore as the land of the dead. What is happening? I am very curious to see this, though. I'm excited. The land of the dead, yes. Once criminals are sent there, they'll never, never return. <laughs> you guys hear that? They really did it. They really boarded Charon. There's no way. There must be some sort of mistake. What, you think the mayor's lying? This again? The mayor's been going on like this for hours. I've got soup on the burner. <laughs> Get on with it already. Indolence, it was insolence that almost, almost made me a harbinger of disaster. Yes, a harbinger of disaster to Potcrock Isle. Don't say that, we all, oh right, uh, we know Allah. Oh, uh, the accent, right? Don't say that. We all we know all of this thanks to you. You're the one who saved us, the great and almighty Hoffman. Oh, I just realized they have a uh, train right there. Yeah, it's Charon. Charon's here. Oh gosh. Ah. <gasps> Whoa. Whoa. Was that the mayor's house? I guess that's never happened before because they wouldn't have built it there. Charum screams as it barrels through Potcrock Isle. As John watches out the window, he has a thought. Oh, the, maybe this thing that he changed here. It's the very first time in his life that he's had this thought. Small, he thinks. So small, they pass it in the blink of an eye. I wonder if when he changed that, he changed like the route. John, that's our house! Sam shouts as she gazes out the window. That's our house! Yes, John thinks, that is our house. And maybe like that changed the train's route? Oh my goodness. <laughs> Oops, shouldn't put that house there then, yeah. Achievement unlocked, true lies, to be continued, wow. Speaking of which, do you have any plans to play spooky games? Um, I do want to play something special in October. I don't know what yet, but I am going to play something. If you have any suggestions, let me know. John, I think I saw the mayor. He looked pretty happy. Oh, wow, were they on the train that just smashed the house? Oh my goodness. A joy we three cannot share. No, for we are bound for the surface. But it's so beautiful up there. Blue sky as far as you can see and green, so much green. Poppycock, you're talking about White Whale Bay. White Whale Bay. The train will soon be clear of the tunnel. Please prepare yourself for the change in air pressure. Air pressure? What's air pressure? Ooh! <gasps> Look at this! Whoa, what's that? Oh my gosh, I love this. Look, look, it's the sky! Jasper, it's the sky! Oh my gosh, and the music! This is amazing. What a cool moment. Chapter two, what the forest taught me. Ooh, I like the sound of this. I love the forest. Hopefully it's a happy forest and not a scary forest. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. Are they on a train or a plane? <laughs> Sam is being so precious, I know. Oh my gosh, this is amazing. Amazing. <laughs> We've done no wrong yet. You punish the innocent, you vile, wicked man. Yeah, seriously. Sorry, I'm just catching up on the chat now. Fitting, it gets spooky right before October. <laughs> Speaking of which, uh, yeah. Uh, don't know which game I'm gonna play. <laughs> Night in the Woods is good spooky game. Oh, wow. So, uh, 
If it's too spooky, I might not play, but we'll see. If Dare can join me, then I'll play a spookier game than if I'm on my own. This is so cool. I love this. Whoa, it's amazing. Even I must admit, I never thought the land of the dead could be so breathtaking. Next stop, White Whale Bay. White Whale Bay. Oh, I knew it. I just knew it. We're finished for sure. I wonder if I should have, like, looked around a little bit more. Oh, well. <gasps> this is- I saw this in the, uh, the promotional stuff. With this whale thing. We're finally here! Look at the trees out there! And there's, like, a little elk thing? A deer or something? Oh, I love this. This is so cool. Look at her smile! Whoa! This place is ginormous! It's gotta be the city! John, hurry up! <laughs> John is like your typical parent, like, alright, I'm coming, I'm coming. Save me, save me! That noxious breeze, that ghastly sun! I'm going to die, I'm sure of it! What are you even talking about? Look at us, we're just fine! I don't believe it, I simply don't believe it! The surface is but a wasteland, devoid of all life. I don't know, it looks pretty full of life to me. This is so cool. That view is gorgeous. Ah, yes, I know. Night in the Woods is a good spooky game, gotcha. Even though I just read that, sorry. <laughs> ba -ba -ba -ba. I wonder which way we should go. Let's see if the map helps us out. Oh, look at that. I guess we'll just uh, head in a direction. Okay, we can't go that way. And probably can't go the other way then either. This is so cool. It's like, oh, I got a big old buzz. What is happening there? Can we go over then? There was a big buzz, like when I was right about here, but there doesn't seem to be anything I can do. Back here maybe? What if we go back in there? No? I guess we'll just go on, because I don't see anything. <gasps> Look! Oh, they're so cute! They're even smaller! This is so cool! Oh my gosh, I love this. What about this little thing? No, we can't go in there. This is amazing. You're gonna love the environments? The music is so upbeat and free freeing. Oh, I totally agree. This is so cool. Oh, this is amazing. Let's see if that's a door over there. And I don't think there's any way for me to run. I'm pressing different buttons. Yeah, that doesn't look like it. Can I examine this? Nope. Uh, where do I go? Um, I thought I would be able to go out here. I guess this way. Maybe, hopefully. <laughs> Doop -a doop -a doop. Uh, no. Okay, what am I doing wrong? Maybe I have to go in this contraption? There we go. Okay. Most? Is that what that says? Most? Nost? Nost? I'm not sure. Alright, let's check it out. We are in the woods. Mountain Pass. This is so cool. I wonder what happened to the world to make it like this. It's all, you know, post-apocalyptic looking. <gasps> oh look, a fridge! There's a giant whale at the top of this mountain. Legend has it, it's a monster that consumes memories. Save your memories? Yes, please. Bobo, hello, hello! How are you doing? Can't go in there. Alright, let's take a look. John! Look! There's someone there! Where? Oh yeah, there is someone! Oh, throwing rocks in the water. Oh no, maybe she's sad? 
board? I, I can't tell. Definitely seems sad-ish. Let's see if there's any goodies. Because uh, there's definitely something around here. Oh, I see it down there in the trees. There we go. And got some salt. Giant whale top the mountain. Link's awakening reference? I don't know. It could be. It very well could be. All right, we're in the valley now. What a cool place. I didn't even think we'd get to go up here. I thought we'd be underground the whole time. What a fun surprise. This is so cool. I'm definitely loving this. This tree, the trees and the forest and all that seems like a nice place so far. Not too scary. John! You hungry, boy? Let's go get you some lunch, huh? Wait, did she just call the dog John? I think? I don't know. We'll have to see. I thought she said John. Huh? Who are you? I'm Sam, and this is John. We're from Potcroc Isle. Potcroc Isle? Ah, I see. You're from the outside. I should let the mayor know we have visitors. No, you can't. The mayor's gonna lock us up and throw away the key. <laughs> oh dear, there's no need to worry. The mayor here is a very kind and welcoming man. My name's Uva. I think that's right. You should stop by the village. Everyone would be so surprised to see you. Come on, John. Let's go, boy. Yep, the dog's name is John. Oh, I mean, I was just, I was talking to John. I mean, the dog. I was talking to the dog, John. Not you, John. I know you're not a, a dog. And never mind. I'll just stop talking now. I'll, uh, wait for you to the wood whale. <laughs> That would totally be me. <laughs> Doggo. I love post-apocalyptic worlds, yeah. There, there's something fun about these kind of games. Oh wait, I should have actually gone into that store. There might be something in there. Oh well. It's a village! John, look! It's a village! Aww. You made it! Welcome, both of you! Sam's like, well, I'm gonna go explore. Okay, really quick. I want to check this thing. Oh, okay. We didn't miss anything. Just wanted to be sure. Let's talk to everybody. Howdy! This here is Greenberg. <laughs> Mayor's waiting for you. He's in front of the wood whale. All right, thank you very much. Lots of places to save, that's nice. You place things in the fridge in hopes that they'll stay good forever, but the next time you open the fridge, they may have already gone bad. <laughs> that is very true. That is very true indeed. Let's see what we got here. We got a quick stock used to immediately restock your ammo and bombs. Ammo, bombs, I think we're still good on that. Ooh, upgrade! Ooh! Upgrade or expand for more? I think we want more bombs. That seems like a good plan. How much is this? Uh, where does it say that? 50 salt and three of those gear things? Do we have- oh, we do have three! And this is 100 salt and three of those gear things. So I think it's more- I think it'll be more useful to have to be able to carry more bombs. So we're gonna go for that. Yay! Bomb box upgrade! Oh, I hear, can we go in there? Oh, I see it. I see the box. How do we get in there? Hmm. You guys see that in the, in the grass? I just don't know how to get to it. Um. I guess we'll have to wait, because I don't see how we're supposed to get in there. 
Uh, yeah. I'm hoping there's a way we can get in there, but... Oh, it's gonna bug me. <laughs> oh well, we'll have to come back. And that's the guy we just talked to. Oh, there's Sam, looking at the scarecrow. What a weird face. <laughs> she copied it. That was amazing. That was so amazing. Oh, more amazing music. This is relaxing. Gonna have to check out the soundtrack. Yeah, it's very nice. Looks like you're on a ledge. Yeah, it does. I was not... Maybe if we get through this building, but how do we even get down there? There's probably a way. Hopefully we'll find out. All right, let's see what we got here. Oh, Earthborn. So we can play Earthborn. <gasps> Look, this thing too. I think we have, we got six of these. So why not? Let's do this. All right, what do we get? Something new, something new. It is Goblin. Greedy trickster that's not only cowardly, but weak. It's a miracle that it was even captured within a pick's ball at all. <laughs> um, where do we see... I wonder how we can see our collection. Let me exit real quick and see if we can find that. I don't know if we even have a spot. I think it's this pick's ball. Yeah, there's the goblin. We have one of that. Okay, two slimes. All right, let's, uh, I guess we'll just keep playing. Why not? I don't see why we need to save them. What a nice place. Goblin, I choose you. I know, it's very Pokemon-ish, which I like. And what do we have this time? A mushroom. I don't think we have a mushroom. Legend has that you can find creatures like these in the land of the wind. It's snowing now and in summer too, perhaps a result of the miasma. Hmm, I am curious to hear what the miasma thing is. Okay, so it looks like we've got two of the third prize so far. So let's see what we get this time. And we got... Ooh, Dark Knight. I bet this is a good one. The quiet, quiet guard of Demon King City. He's unable to understand the language of monsters. Working at the repair shop is nothing but a mon monotonous slog. My only joy comes in creating these monsters. Oh, wow. Uh, so that's a second prize. Let's see what we get this time. Art style is gorgeous. Yeah, the amazing pixel art. Yes, I agree. Ooh, an evil mage. An enig enigmatic fellow. Looking at him makes you feel as though you're being, being sucked into a void. Another city was swallowed by the miasma. Luckily, Easter City is safe. Or Esther City is safe. So that was the other second prize. Let's see if we can get the top prize. I don't think we can use these coins for anything else, so. What do we get? Goblin again. I noticed that whenever we got the second prize, it turned two times. So maybe that's like a little hint on what rarity you get. See, that time I only turned one time, so I think this is the bottom prize again. A mad rat, a fierce, nimble beast. The shop has been overrun with rats lately, to the point where the cables are starting to suffer. Oh, I can feel you on that one. Our cat eats the cables. Okay, so we have all the third prizes and all the second prizes. We just need the top prize left. Very cool. Let's see what's in here. Three being the highest. Let's see. You can tell the rarity of Pix Ball by the number of times you rotate the dial. Three being the highest. Yes, that's what I was just thinking too. Looks like we can probably cook right there. Ooh, Captain Bristles. Have a look, all fresh veg straight from the fields. Ooh, look at this. They don't get this down below. Look at all this cool stuff. Pumpkins, lemons, ham, steamed peppercorn, and lava candy, as well as, ooh, a backpack expansion. Heck yeah, that's an immediate buy. I don't care the cost. If we can afford it, that's happening. We need way more spots. <laughs> Yay! Do you have any more backpack expansions? Hello? Hello? Oh my gosh, please. Let's see. Oh my gosh, he's got another one. That's very tempting. I might get it again. We also have this uh, feast and t cheap toast. <laughs> I'm getting this again. 
totally worth it. Especially with the rate that I die. <laughs> For the high prices, just gotta wait your turn. Mm -hmm. Alright, um... I think that's good for now. Oh, he's got another one. Okay, we could keep expanding the backpack actually if we wanted. I say we buy some ingredients too. They're pretty cheap. They're only five, 10. Yeah, let's get one of whatever we don't have. So let's get this and this and this and steamed peppercorn. What is this? Just this type type of spice I guess sure we'll get that and we'll get some candy there we go filling out the, the store here and then we can get um I don't think we need to buy food because we can we can make something let's try making something let's use our new ingredients let's make oh we can make a fall recipe let's make something with pumpkin what tastes good with pumpkin um uh, actually, none of this seems like it would taste good with pumpkin. Um, I guess we could just do pumpkin, mushroom, and onion. That seems like a safe bet. Let's see how this goes. You get an ingredient! You get an ingredient! Yeah. Cinnamon! Oh, you think it's cinnamon? That would be cool. Oh, okay. Got two grapes that time. Do -ba -do -ba -da. This music is really fun. Look at all the pumpkins. Come on, be something good. Vegetable stir fry. Doesn't get much better than a plate of steaming hot vegetables. All right, there we go, got another meal. Now let's try using the lemon and maybe some candy. We can have uh, sour and spicy, spicy and sour. We don't really have anything sweet. Steamed peppercorn. I don't know if I can get cinnamon, just uh, goes good with pumpkin. Yeah, yeah. Cinnamon and pumpkin is really good, like all spice maybe. Let's go with, hmm. I bet the spice is like for an additional bonus. We could do, ham and lemon and uh we have a lot of onions so we can go with the onion or we can put an egg in there ham and eggs like dr seuss let's just see how this goes <laughs> hopefully it's not bad quite the jam cooking music i agree i love it i've got two two tomatoes let's see what we can do this time there's the lemon. It's really cute. I think you can skip this, but I like it so much. Not sure if you've been there yet or not, but if you haven't, I think Majora's Mask would be perfect choice. You may have to play the 3DS remake, seeing as we don't know when NSO upgrade starts and when N64 version of it will drop. Yeah, it probably won't happen in time for October games, which would be tomorrow. But that could be because I've never played Majora's Mask. Back when I was a kid and I played it for the first time, um, it freaked me out. Whenever the Deku transformation was happening to Link, I was like, uh, no, I'm out. I'm scared. <laughs> okay, here we go. We made a pizza. Sweet. That's awesome. John once put pineapple on pizza. John failed at making pizza. <gasps> the game has taken a stance. Oh, I actually like pineapple on pizza, so the game and I disagree on that one. That's so funny, though. That's hilarious. All right. Well, I think we're all set for now. And let's head out. That was a fun little cooking experiment. Oh, gosh, those transformations are super creepy. <laughs> can skip past by double pressing a button. Oh, that's nice. The game has taken the correct stance. <laughs> I see what you think there, Rusty. Look at this. What is it? What have they got here? Oh, this is Sarah. Gosh, it's an outsider. You seen o Uva? She's basically this village's pride and joy. Okay, I wonder why. What's this, huh? These? These are mouse fritters. Sure, they look a bit funny, but they, they're tasty as heck. <laughs> you know me. Oh, Sam's off on her newest adventure. 
Let's talk to this guy. He looks kind of like a ranger. Come on. <laughs> there we go. Oh, this is Miller. Oh, you're those outsiders Uva was talking about, ain't you? Oh, <laughs> I didn't even notice that guy. Bob, outsiders? Wow, let me see, huh? Now you listen up here, boy. You lay so much as a finger on your little Uva, our little Uva, and I'll make sure you don't sit right for weeks. You hear? I wouldn't be making threats if I were you, Miller. You ask me, you're no match for this fella. <laughs> you want to say that again, you knuckle-headed buffoon? Come on, give me your best shot. I'll show you a real threat. Don't you two worry about Punchy McPuncherson over here. <laughs> he talks tough, but he's a big ol' softy deep down. He is Uva's brother, after all. You think I need you to talk for me, you overgrown lump of log? Huh, I'll let this fella prove himself. Come by the Blimpin' Range later. Or, uh, Blimpin' Ranch. It's to the east of the valley. Then I'll see what you're really made of. Alright. He's challenged us. This is Baseball Nan. Oh, it's here! Oh, it's here! The harvest, the harvest is coming! This is a nice area. I'd want to get banished here, honestly. This is way better than being underground in that depressing place. <laughs> this is Helen. Well, aren't you a sight for sore eyes? All that muscle. <laughs> if I were 20 years younger. Mm -hmm -hmm. Wow. <laughs> All right, she's talking about the harvest again. What are you going on about, Ma? The harvest don't start till the day after tomorrow. Don't you pay her any mind now, you hear? Poor thing's getting on in her years. Can't tell the difference between a goose and a greyhound. <laughs> oh, wait. That's not what I meant to click. But now it looks like we're in the field, so we can go get that special chest, potentially. Uh, this is Ingrid. Oh my, it's been years since anyone from the outside visited. Are you two from the other side of the mountain? Actually, we're from underground. Which I am guessing the mayor doesn't know about. That this is here. Maybe he put people on that train thinking that it would go away forever. I don't know. Or maybe there's something sinister going on. Who knows. What do we get here? Ooh, tokens. We can go back to the token machine. Let's see if there's anything up here before we move on. Uh, where's our map -a Rooney? There we go. We are good. Yay! I'm glad this worked out. Because I, I really wanted to get that chest. <laughs> Goose and Greyhound, uh... <laughs> I'd like to be sent here. Looks peaceful. I know, right? The plot thickens. Hmm. Yeah, I'm curious. I love this. I love that it's so heavily story-based. This is really... This is... This is my kind of thing. Is this the wood whale? It's huge, just like the mayor's house. Oh. Oh, she's following us now. All right. Wes? <laughs> is he sleeping? Wes? <laughs> this game is so charming. I love it. Mr. Mayor! Oh! Oh, if it isn't Uva! And looking as gorgeous as ever, I might add! Wes, I wanted to introduce you to someone. This is John, and this young lady here is Sam. John? Didn't I just see John earlier this morning? Where is the little rascal? This is John the human, Wes. <laughs> oh! Now that you mention it, these do appear to be fresh new faces. Would it be alright if they used that old cabin for a bit? What do you think, boy? Isn't Uva just beautiful? She's the pride and joy of this village, you know? Wes! <laughs> oh, the, the gaieties of youth. Ho 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 ho. I'm getting like a Santa vibe from him, like a tired Santa. <laughs> Oh, East, I thought you meant Weast. That's a West, Patrick. <laughs> what is Wes? Not human. <laughs> Why would anyone want to go back, especially with that stuck-up mayor? I know, right? 
Sorry about that, the mayor, he can be a bit of a comedian. There's a small cabin just to the east of the valley. You can use it to get some rest. If you need anything at all, please don't hesitate to ask. We're going then? Bye bye, John. <laughs> oh my gosh, I love this so much. This is just the best. We can even talk to the dog. So cute. Well, kind of talk to the dog. Interact with the dog, I guess. Party! There's a party tomorrow night. What? Charred peas? Who's peas? And who charred them? That's a sacrilege to peas, you know? <laughs> Sometimes I truly don't know if you're really this harebrained. Or you just like to mess with me. Let's see if we can talk to him. A beautiful night isn't complete without a chance encounter with a fair maiden. You must grab the chance by the horns and reel her in, my boy. Oh my gosh. I guess that everyone wants to set us up with her. All right, the wood whale. Look, even this building looks so much nicer than below ground buildings. This is Selma. There's a party tomorrow night, you know, a real whiz banger. The whole village gets together to celebrate the year's harvest. Ho ho ho. Can barely contain your excitement, can you? Neither can Granny. <laughs> There's a treasure somewhere. I thought I talked to this guy. Nope, just drinks. Oh, well, there we go. Oh, girl, Miss Miller, Mrs. Miller. You must be that new face everyone's talking about. And what's this? Why, if this isn't the cutest little lady I've ever seen. Aw. This soup? Oh, a special treat for the god of the mountain. The harvest is the day after tomorrow, you know. All right, where's that treasure? Because we were close by. Oh, there it is. I see it. Yay, more salt. And it looks like we can't do anything with the surrounding things. Uh, can we go over here? No. I wonder what these are. They kind of look like... Maybe they make fabric? This kind of looks like a crafting area, maybe? I'm not sure. Looks like Wendell? Oh, Wendell from Animal Crossing. Which one's Wendell? Hmm. I have to go check that out. I can't remember. The name sounds so familiar. Is that the bear that looks kind of like a grandpa? I can't remember. What's this thing? Ooh. Get some water. Let's get this chest. 50 salt. How salty. Fried chicken. <laughs> Oh my goodness. I guess we'll just go explore. Let's see what we got in here. Can we go fishing? I bet we... Well, actually, I don't know. We'll see. Uh, this is Ufa's house. Oh, uh, no, I don't want to rest yet. We want to make sure we got everything before we do that. Is this the cabin she was telling us about? Um... No, down there. Okay, so let's head that way. Let's do that. And then we should be getting closer to the festival. Because probably we get down there, we take a nap or something. And then we can check out the festival thing, the party. Uh-oh. <laughs> Are you serious? A bar and you perform there? Get out. Why would I lie? I'm quite the star back there, I'll have you know. That's so chic. Every time I see him, I swear, it looks like he has no pants. Just underwear and socks or shoes or something. <laughs> John, what does chic mean? Uh, John probably doesn't know. Huh? Who's that over there? Those aren't friends of yours, are they? Oh, that's just Sam and John. Ugh, talk about passe. They'd fit right in here. Let's ignore them. I want to hear more about the bar. I've heard things, yeah? Like the people there barely wear anything. Oh my gosh. Okay, I guess they're going to ignore us. 
I'd give anything to see what it's like there. The bright lights, the colors, it must be out of this world. Okay, so she definitely wants something more adventurous than what she has here. <laughs> to think I'd meet someone up here on the surface. And not only that, she's an angel who actually understands me. Well, I'm happy for you. Alright, um, let's see. I guess, how do we get over there? Maybe there's a way when we get in here. Oh, this music. This looks right. Maybe? No, maybe not. We already passed it. Uh, somehow, I'm not sure how to get over there. I guess we'll just keep exploring and see if we can find something. We'll go back through... Oh! Let's see where this takes us. Okay, there's the green. So this might be how we get over there somehow. We'll just keep going. Oh, here we go. I think we might have just found it. Let's take a look around. Such good, like, world building. It just feels really neat here. Hunter's Cabin. I guess this is what she was talking about that we could use. Oh, and a save. I'm glad they're generous with the saves right now. How strange. You must have gone through quite a lot. There are even more colors in your memories than before. <gasps> save your memories. That's true. There's way more colors up here, which I love. Give me all the colors. Wow! Oh, Sam loves it. She is so precious. Look, John, look, a bed! We haven't slept in one of these for a while. <laughs> and look at this ginormous pot. You'll be able to make all kinds of good stuff with this. Oh, I love her. John, John, over here, you can see outside. There's trees, so many of them. I wonder if you can see Greenberg from here. Ah, oh, there it is. Aww, this is so cool. <laughs> the girl might be getting a lewd police. Oh my gosh, you're probably right. <laughs> Why Sheik is from The Legend of Zelda. Jasper looks like he's only wearing a coat. Yeah, that's what I thought too, okay. Oh, Wendell's a walrus, gotcha. Um, are those fridges sentient? I don't know. I, I think they, they're definitely something. I don't know yet. Maybe there's something later. Sam's so wholesome. I know. Hey, there's Uva. John, John, look, Uva's here. Oh, he's cooking already. What a sweetie. Or maybe he was cleaning it. I don't know, but nice guy. He's, he's very sweet. Uh, I don't think there's any little goodies we can pick up, so let's go see Uva. Uva and Sam. Oh, John's crazy wicked when it comes to bashing heads. The forest here, it's different. It's best you don't go too far in. John! Come on, let's go to the blimp- uh, yeah, the blimping ranch! Miller's always talking about how the ranch is short of hands. Perhaps you two are just the help he needs. Let's go, John! Let's go! <laughs> she can't wait. Ah, uh, before I forget, stop by the village on your way back, would you? I'll cook you both something delicious for dinner. Come on, John! Let's get it done quick so we can eat! Alright, so probably we do the, uh... The that thingy first and then we can go get the food. Oh my gosh, look at this bike like in the tree That is strange. Oh, okay. I, I lost signal. I lost signal. Hold on Wait, is it back? It's back for me, but is it back for you? It doesn't look like it. Oh I was hoping we wouldn't have this issue Um, Maybe if I click this There we go Sorry about that. There's a house so cute. Yeah. I don't know why the program is doing this all of a sudden. Oh, there we go. There's a, I see it. I see it. 
gotta get to it. I see the treasure. Um, here we go. The bike was helping us out all along. Found a token. Maybe we'll collect them all by the time we're done with the game. So glad it's fixed. Oh, me too. I don't, I don't know what's wrong with it. I have to keep switching between um, two different capture devices, and it's only one. So I don't understand at all what's happening with it. I don't know if it's the capture card itself or the program. I don't know. To float further, use more power. All right. So I guess. Oh. Uh, charge attack to move the raft. All right, let's do that. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Well, let's see which direction we should head in first. Uh, whoa, this is huge. I don't even know if we need to be here right now, because the little symbol isn't here so let's go back because i don't want to go here earlier than we need to um let's go back this way let's see what the map says it says here hmm let's talk to her again i'd stay away from the forest to the south if i were you if you must go just make sure you bring plenty of supplies maybe we can go in there? The water looks lovely. John is hilarious while running with his hands in pockets and takes them out when not walking. I know, isn't it fun? I'm not sure. I guess we do need to go in there then? Because even the little sign is pointing to that. But I thought she said to come back up here, so... Um, I guess we'll just go in the forest then? And we are fully stocked. Oh wait, before we go, sorry about all the back and forth, I just want to save just in case. It's time to save a roo, save a roo. Another spooky game that would work is Ghost Trick. I think you'd like it. I don't know what that is. What is that game? What's it about? All right, now let's do this again. All right, and I guess we'll head, I guess this way first. We'll try and clear out the map. See what we got? Oh! Oh, maybe this is the ranch right here. So, we meet again, youngins. Youngins? Doesn't John look a little older than you? Well, you're a heck of a lot younger than my daughter. <laughs> anyway, you folks here to help. We sure are. John's a super special, awesome digger. Digger? What's that? What I need you to do is simple. Corral those blimpings, blimp pigs, oh, blimp pigs, okay, into their pen. The whole dang passel's been uppity as upstart lately. Dang near broke all my fences. The mongrels may look sweet as soda pop, but make one of them mad and hoo boy, you're in for one heck of a ride. Better you leave them little missy here with me. All right, so she's gonna stay with us. Nope, maybe not. Hold your horses. Those mongrels may look sweet as soda pop, Okay, but, uh, how do I leave the Missy? Move one or both characters, okay. Oh, there we go. I didn't realize we could do that. We can leave one over there, okay. You can do it, John. All right, so let's see. We need to get it, where do they need to go? In there? No. Uh, okay, in there, gotcha. All right, well, let's get him over there. Oh my gosh, I feel weird having to hit these things. They're getting... Wait, it's getting bigger the more I hit it. Why? Is it going to explode? Is that what it makes it mad or something? All right, come over here, little ones. I guess we'll try to not make it mad. Nope, go back. No, 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 no. Get in there. Oh my gosh, I feel really bad. <laughs> Just spanking these things. Get in there. Is that all of them? One more. Uh, 
Uh, Alright, this one's gonna get mad. We should let it cool off. Oh, I don't know how many times we can hit it. Nope, nope, nope. That way. That way. There you go. Got him. The game was handled by the crew of Ace Attorney. Oh. One, two, three? Four, five? That's it. That's all of them. No, oh, I love this. Look at this. It's like sunset. Well, I'll be. Not a bad job at all. You're right old blimp pig heart herder you are. <laughs> That'll be it for today then, boy. Blimp pigs are so much fun. They're just like those pot crabs at the Sunnyside Ranch. Pot crabs, eh? Sounds tasty. <laughs> They're so good. They're a pot crock aisle specialty. Making my stomach rumble like a heck crazed beast, you are. Why don't we head on us on back to fill up our tums? Uva's probably got dinner cooked up for you already. <gasps> Obtained Blimpig Ranch Seal of Approval. Cool. All right, that's awesome. <laughs> All right, so let's see. Ghost Trick Story centers on recently deceased protagonist Sissel, and ghosts struggle to discover who he was when he was alive and who killed him. The player assumes the role of this ghost who has the ability to perform various ghost tricks to solve puzzles and navigate the world around him. Oh, it's like Ace Attorney. That sounds pretty cool. Oh, but it's rare and expensive. Okay, then I probably won't be able to do that. Ghost Trick needs a re-release. Okay, gotcha. <laughs> what the heck are those pigs? I know, right? And I can't answer that question because I don't know. They're like a pig flamingo thing. I don't know. I'm not sure what it is, but they're in the corral, so <laughs> it's all good. We did what we came to do. Now, time to go back. Although I am curious what's down here. I'm gonna go look. I'm gonna go take a little peek. Oh yeah, these things. Oh, that's not what I meant to do. Real quick. Just want to, you know, take a little look-see. Alright, well, looks like we can't really do much. Anyways. So, no big deal. Let's head on back. The water does look really nice. It looks so charming here. Are they blimpigs? Yeah, blimpigs, but I don't... I guess it's like a pig that's a blimp. I don't know. <laughs> oh, this is so sweet. I just love the, the place here. It's so much nicer. But even though, even underground had its own certain charm, except for the, you know, the mayor and all his croonies, that of course wasn't the best. Uh, I think we went this way in order to get back. This looks familiar. I do get lost easily, so I wouldn't be surprised if I get lost. <laughs> and here we go. I think we're all good now. Yep, here we go. Greenberg. We can see this from our temporary house. And we can go ahead and save. Saving is good. I like to save. <laughs> if you've ever lost your game save data, yeah, then you understand totally. John! Heard from Miller! Sounds like you gave them piggies what for? <laughs> I'm glad it went well. Oh, we can do this. Let's go ahead and do another one of these because we got six of them again. Let's see if we can get the top prize. Oh! <gasps> I think we got it! We did t three turns. Oh my gosh, we did it! Venom Bane, the brains of the Demon King and the leader of the four generals. The four generals carry energy crystals that are the key to saving the princess. Awesome. Well, I guess we can hold on to the rest because probably each one of those um, machines has a different selection, is my guess. Oh wow, there's even more super rare ones. Venom Bane wasn't even like the top of the rarity. Yeah, we're probably going to want to save this then. <laughs> Huzzah! Oh, so exciting. 
We do. We probably should play Earthborn next time. Oh, it's you guys. Looking for Jasper? He's over there. <laughs> I can't tell if she's like annoyed, happy. I, I don't know. Can't tell. Wanted to ask him more about the bar, but then those hens dropped in. Huh. I guess she's annoyed. I keep getting stuck on things. <laughs> hey Jasper, what's up? This town, is it is it real? I may just be falling in love with it. Oh, me too, Jasper. I feel ya. Heard you were quite the dynamic force at the ranch. But this Jasper fellow is not so bad either. Jasper is making a pretty good name for himself here. Everyone seems to like him. Gotten much livelier with this young man around here. Two young men, even. And, of course, pretty little Curlique. Curlique? What's Curlique? Is that supposed to be Sam, or...? What was in... Let's see. I've got something very important to think about. Very important. Okay. Uh, have fun with that. Um, let's see if there's anything else to explore before we talk to her, because she'll probably advance the story. I don't see anyone. Nope. Alright, let's talk to her. Ah, you're back! And tired as the wings of a bird, I'm sure. Dinner's almost ready. Or, oh, already ready. Come on, let's eat! Let's-a go! So, lady, why do you care about a bar that has no pants? <laughs> I know, right? One of the silhouettes looks like Ridley. Oh, does it? I guess I could see that. And that, that is when John raised the mighty key of destiny and plunged it into the bowels of that great piece of machinery, laying bare the secret passage the evil mayor had kept hidden for many a century. Key of destiny! Oh, wow! What's that, huh? It sounds so cool! The key of destiny is none other than the great and holy rod John ripped from the back of the giant pot crab. I just came up with the name myself. Ho oh, ho, not bad, is it? But back to the story. You see, what no one could have expected, no, what no one in their wildest dreams could have envisioned, was that at that exact moment, the evil mayor would rear his ghastly head and corner us in that tunnel. Oh no! It was then that I knew what I had to do. With a great and mighty yell, I screamed, Run, you two! I shall hold back this heinous fiend! Hey, I don't remember this part. <laughs> oh my gosh, that was great. How long is he going to keep him talking? And just when we got those two together for dinner. At this rate, Uva's not even going to get a word in with John. Are they all trying to set them up with, like, Uva and John together? That's... <laughs> Emily! Go get that Jasper fella and bring him out here, would you? What? But why me? Get someone else to do it. You and him were getting along sure as syrup er, earlier. In fact, I heard you say more to him than you've said to your pop all year. Ugh, seriously? What do you expect, you old fuddy-duddy stick in the mud? How could you and I have anything to talk about? Okay, so that must be her dad then. You want to say that again, young lady? Emily, dear, this isn't about you, nor is it about your father. This is about Uva. This is Uva's big chance. Come now and be a dear, wouldn't you? Oh, I see what's going on. All I've got to do is get Jasper out here, right? I'll do it. But I'm doing it for Uva, not for any of you. <laughs> I wonder why they're trying to set her up so much. <laughs> Key of Destiny, Sora. <laughs> Jasper! Oh, Emily! You're just in time! Come, come, sit! I was just relaying the tale of our great adventures underground. Come out for a sec, would ya? I need you for something. But I... I haven't finished the story yet. Oh, pish and squat. Just get out here. <laughs> What's this? Why are you all waiting out here? We want you to tell us your story about Pot Croc Isle. Heavens, you do? You... I think I... I think I... I'm falling in love! 
<laughs> now then, where would you like me to begin? Hmm? Ah, yes. How about the part where I verbally accost the detestably evil mayor? <laughs> well, he was just fine leaving. Uva and John sitting in a tree. <laughs> Oh, it's night time. Ah, hold on a second. You, would you like to come to my place? I mean, it's not, it's just that it can be quite dangerous on the mountain at night. So I thought letting Sam sleep at my place might be better. I'll, um, take that as a yes. Anyway, follow me. My house is just to the north of the water. Hmm. I hope this doesn't have sinister reasons. Like, what if this is a Beauty and the Beast vibe where they have to fall in love or something <laughs> in order to break some kind of curse? I don't know. It could it just be some... I don't, I don't know. There's so many ideas going on. Here we are. Come in. Come in. Please don't be evil. Oh, look at her. She's fast asleep. Poor thing. Must have been so tuckered out. But honestly, this is a better place than the other house. So we'll take it. John, let me handle it. So sweet. She's going to grow up into an amazing woman someday. Let's just let her rest for now. Don't worry. I'll take care of her. Wait. Wait. What about, uh, what about the rest? Wait, <gasps> she's making him go back in the woods? Wait, 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 hold on. What? What are you three doing here? What's happening? What is happening? Why did John leave? What is going on? When did you three get here? We've been here the whole time, dear. Yep, since you put little... Uh, curl a cue's sweet little head on that bed. Initiate the plan, girls. Plan? What are they doing? A makeover? <laughs> what are they doing? Just what are you three trying to do here? You're a battle uniform, Uva. You need your battle uniform. Battle uniform? You, you want me to wear this? Are they gonna dress her up? What the... Hee <laughs> hee! You look absolutely stunning! Just like me when I was young. But it's so, so inconvenient. Do I really have to wear this? Don't be naive. And don't be yourself either. Oh, that's terrible advice. Mm -mm. Don't listen to that. Sarah's leading you astray. Yes, you must be nothing but darling and sweet. Ingrid? Mm -mm, don't jump on that train. She needs to just be herself. As helpless as a baby bird. A baby bird. Got you. Now, you naughty pig. <laughs> Do you remember what I taught you, dear? Look that boy straight in the eye. Grab his shoulder. Then ever so sweetly say, Oh my, it's ever so cold. Ah! I can't take it. Got shivers down my whole backside. Say it again. Say it again. Oh my. It's ever so cold. <laughs> wow, we diggity. You still got the stuff, sis. That boy's gonna fall head over heels for you with moves like that. Enough. Run along now, Uva. You mustn't let that boy get away. Oh my gosh. This is so awkward. He's just walking along. John! Oh, she's got little blushies. Are you going back already? <laughs> I... I suppose what I meant to say is, would you... stay with me a while? These lights, they're pretty bright, yes? I installed them myself just last month. Uh, I mean, no. <laughs> I didn't do it myself, of course. I asked uh, Bowman to install them for me. <laughs> oh my gosh. Where are they going? 
Do you think you would like to stay here, John? In the village? There's a little plot of land behind the barn. We could build a little boat there. Grow wheat in the field in the spring. Raise a chicken or two. Man, she's going for it. Uh, oh, did I say it wrong? Oh my, is it ever cold? <laughs> Aw, she's trying so hard. I, no good, huh? All right. <laughs> I like how Sam's able to sleep with the conversation going on. I know, right? The dress reveals so much back. I would be intimidated, honestly, if a girl like that wore that. But it's dude magnet. <laughs> you found two Mews? Oh, do you have super luck when it comes to Pokemon cookies? I don't know. Uh, maybe? There was only one in, the, in each pack, so I don't know. I don't know how common they are, but <laughs> I did find another Mew. Oh gosh, she's so nervous. I know, she really is. I need to know what's the deal here. Is it just because there's a lack of people? So they're like roughly around the same age. So, so they're like, hey, you guys can get together and keep the population going. <laughs> I don't know. Hopefully we'll find out more. I'll watch after Sam, John. You don't have to worry. Okay. Where do they want me to go then? If I'm not supposed to be hanging out with her. Wait, I have to go back there? That's strange. If I was John, I would not leave my pseudo daughter here alone on the first day where we met everybody. I'd be like, no, we're going to stick together. I just, I don't want to leave her here. Octopus. <laughs> Wait, does she say random stuff? Okay, same thing. I mean, I like that Sam has this nicer bed, but... I just don't feel right about leaving her. That's pretty far away. Like, it would be one thing if he was outside and she was inside, but if he's going to go sleep in that other cabin, that is really far. I wouldn't leave Kai like that, that's for sure. But yeah, it seems like, um, I guess that's what they want us to do. Is there anybody else to talk to? I guess we can see if they're in here still. Oh, it's the it's this guy, Wes. Oh, ho, ho, Uva's cooking is truly out of this world. I'll be sleeping like a baby tonight. I wonder if that's her dad. I, too bad I can't run. This is definitely the fastest we can go. How to flirt one to win. Wear a back revealing dress, talk awkwardly, and hope the dude picks up. <gasps> I mean, it kind of worked with Derek, although he kind of... Uh, made the first move so I don't know if that counts <laughs> but I was very awkward that's for sure that was super awkward um I guess we just head back I don't think we need to stop anywhere I don't like this though I really don't like it at all I don't like leaving her this far kind of funny how all this happens in a day I know right it's just not I just don't like it I'm getting a bad feeling about this I think John is too, because he doesn't appear to be sleeping. Oh, there he goes. Okay. I guess he's fine. Please don't let anything bad happen. I do feel kind of bad for Uva, though. She probably feels pretty alone. A shorter night does not exist than that of a fleeting moonlight tryst. Pray tell, what ails you, milady? Oh, it's Jasper. <gasps> what if Jasper and her get together? <laughs> Jasper? That mask is a little unnerving. <laughs> yes, it is. I mean, no. I know not this individual of whom you speak. Uh, then you are... Golden eyes like spotlights, illuminating the crime in the darkness. Fresh blood, a vivid testament to the battle that had transpired. Tis none other than I, the Night Stalker! Oh gosh, please don't do that thrusting motion. I see, um... Is there anything you need, Mr. Night Stalker? 
You cannot hide your inner turmoil from me. Do not let these feelings of anguish pervade your life. Nay, take the advice of this nightcapped cavalier instead. You must never allow others to decide your fate for you. Actually, that's good advice. Should you ever disagree with a recommendation given to you, you must say so loud and clear. Disagree? I... Hmm. I think there may have been some sort of misunderstanding, Jasper. Uh, I mean, Mr. Nightstalker. Misunderstanding? Whatever do you mean? I mean, it's... I didn't disagree with anything. Oh, so she's into this. Ah, I see. Then you were simply embarrassed, were you? I... I like John a lot. You... Like him? I... That's... I didn't... Didn't get that sense at all. But I do have to thank you, Mr. Night Stalker. Thank me? Yes, for what you've just said. Thank you. Because you know what? I do need to take off my mask. There's no reason to be someone I'm not. <laughs> I think she's turning it around to him now. Take off your mask? <laughs> Ahem. Yes, yes. I can see now that I was worrying far too much. You can certainly take care of yourself. Now then, I shall bid you adieu. Until we meet next, my dear. Goodbye, Mr. Night Stalker. She handled that really well, I think. Oh, did they... Did they get him to do that? What in the world? Goodness gracious, I nearly had a heart attack. That Uva is something else. For a moment, I thought she'd seen through my disguise. Wow. She did. I'm pretty sure she did. The persona. <laughs> pretty sure she saw through it from the start. <laughs> I'll say. That's... That's not possible. You don't think so, do you, Emily? I, uh... Anyway. <laughs> Haven't you three had enough already? Uva clearly likes the guy. Had enough? You say that as though we don't have a moral obligation to watch over this village's youngins. I've said it once, I'll say it again. You guys are nothing but a bunch of fogies. Watch your mouth. She does have a point, you know. Perhaps we should leave the youngsters to deal with their own problems. I certainly didn't like having someone watching over my shoulder when I was young. Now they get it. Not you too! Let's just give it a rest. Uva can certainly take care of herself. Very true. There isn't a man who wouldn't like Uva on this green earth. I will say though, Jasper, that wasn't half bad. Getting Uva to finally say what's on her mind, I mean. That... I mean, it was all the work of the Night Stalker. There isn't a person in all the world capable of resisting the Night Stalker's charm. <laughs> I mean, just a simple mask isn't going to really change much with his outfit as, um, uh, what's the word? Like, recognizable as it is. Oh, look at that little birdie. <laughs> Jasper is giving surprisingly good advice. Yeah, agreed. <laughs> Thank you, Jasper. I mean, Night Stalker. <laughs> John! John! <laughs> I guess it was all okay in the end. John, something big happened! Is there any way we can help Uva? When it comes to knocking a few heads, John's basically a master. Would you be willing to go to the Blimpig Ranch, John? Miller came running out into the village this morning. Seems his poor Blimpigs have flown the coop. Bowman's already left to investigate, but... I thought if there was anyone who could help him, it would be you, John. You really went to town on those Blimpigs yesterday. You don't think you could... You scared them right off, do you? The Blimpigs are normally very docile. Something must have happened to spook them. Spook, spook, spook. You don't think it was a monster, do you? 
I can't be sure. We don't usually tread too far into the forest here. That's the mountain god's territory. Guess you and me will have to put those piggies back in their pen, John. Let's get to the Blimp Pig Ranch, quick! Uh, wait. The forest, it can be incredibly dangerous. Take this. It's not much, but it should at least help out against any beasts you run into there. Are we gonna get, a, like, a gun or something with, that we can use the ammo for? Look at that. We got, like, a Nerf gun looking thing. We got a Bang Bang gun. <laughs> we can find it in the menu, the weapons menu. <laughs> bang Bang gun. Also, you haven't eaten breakfast yet, right? I made these sandwiches for you. You need to keep your strength up, you know? Oh no, we can't- Oh no, we don't have space. <gasps> we got extra space! Obtain fish sandwich. Check it out in your backpack. Oh, that was so kind. Oh, that was really nice. It's dangerous out there. Take this. Yep, Zelda. Bang, bang, gun. Oh my gosh. Well, I'd say that was pretty good. Let's go ahead and save a roo because unfortunately it is time to say goodbye for right now. Because I got to get going. Two o'clock is a definitely a hard stop for me for the stream, unfortunately. But it was so much fun. Let me get the, uh, the other screen going so we can chat for just a minute before I head out. Thank you all so, so much for joining me. I love this game. I love the story. Story games are my favorite. And uh, the pixel art is so charming. Sam is amazing. John is great. The characters are so good so far. And I'm super intrigued. Like, what is going on? What's happening? Like, I want to know more. What is, what's everyone else thinking? <laughs> super charming stream. Oh, I'm so glad. I'm really trying hard. Fun stream. You can't venture onto the tall grass without a Pokemon. Yeah, that too. I'm definitely feeling the inspiration like Pokemon, Zelda, Dragon Quest, stuff like that. It's it's great. Can't go into the forest on an empty stomach. What a great stream. Oh, thank you so much for this encouragement. You all are so great. It's okay. I had a lot of fun. Me too. This always flies by for me, honestly. I can't even believe it's been basically two hours. <laughs> Knew you would like this part. Nice dream. You're really relaxing to watch. Oh, that's good. That's what, kind of what I was going for, especially with the tea time with Belle, with our little teacups. I wanted it to be something nice that we could just hang out for a little bit during the day. And then I have the late night stream, which is the next stream, um, which is Saturday. So hopefully some of you can join Saturday. It'll be 11 p.m. Eastern time Saturday, and we'll be playing Fire Emblem Three Houses. So if you like those kind of games, come on over. And Derek will be joining me as well. I'm just going to get a little bit more water. Um, and they're usually pretty fun. It's a fun time. Tea is great. Yeah, I love my tea. But thank you all so much. I'm going to go ahead and run the credits now. And I will see you all for the next stream, which is Saturday night. Thank you so much. Can't wait to see you. And thank you for spending your time with me. It truly, truly means the world. Thank you so, so much. You're the best community I could ever ask for. So I'm really honored. And thank you for choosing me to watch. So thank you all. And I will see you next time. Bye, everyone. <laughs>